Hey everybody, we're going to take a look at the Profoto 6 Beta Layout Editor by going into our Customizer today. And once we load that, you'll see all of the parts of our layout shown on the screen. At the very top is the Site Item. The Site Item holds all the other items in our layout, so it's kind of the most important one. It holds our, uh, our blocks, which you see here with a green strip on the edge. Uh, and inside blocks, you have rows. Rows have a gray edge along the left side. And inside rows, you find columns. And this row has one column in blue on the top. But down below, you see a row that has three columns. And finally, inside columns, you'll see widgets, like the images and menu widgets here. Let's start by looking at the style settings. Let's hop into the site item. And in this pop-up, you'll notice block, row, column, advanced, and font areas. Each of these tabs lets you control a different aspect of your entire site. Now let's look down the screen here, padding, border, these are all settings for blocks. Every time I put a new block in my site item, it'll get the settings I've put together here. When I go into a blocks pop-up settings, you see I can still control the block appearance, but also row, column, horizontal menus, because I have a menu in this area, and font settings. Each of these is specific to this particular block and all of its children. See, you'll notice as we scroll down here, I have the same types of settings. Now let's take a look at a row. Row is the first item. There is no block. Column, more menu item options, and fonts. These settings apply only to the row. Once I hop into a column, you'll see I only have a column appearance for this column. And horizontal menus and general font areas these settings only apply to this column and all of its children. Let's take an example here. Let's change the background color of one block in our layout. I'm going to click this edit button to override the no background color setting that it's receiving from the site item level. When I click edit, I can change the no background color to whatever I'd like with this selector. I'm going to choose a really bright green. You guys will be able to see what happens once I save my changes. Now I'm going to use the buttons up top here to view my site homepage. I'm going to open it in another tab to make it easier to work. There it is. The bright green is shown on the left and right sides. And that's because the blocks receive padding on the left and right sides all the way up and down. Notice everything in my layout is in this main block. Let's say I want to have a new block just for header items. Down below you'll see add buttons for block, row, and column. By clicking any one of these plus buttons, I add that new item to my layout. Let's add a name to this block so I can keep track of what's inside. We'll call it header area. Here you can normally click to add widgets, but in my case, I actually have some widgets I want to use up here at the top of my existing block. So I'm going to drag this header area to the top of my layout above my main block, just like this. When I release, it appears, and I can move my widgets to my new block. Everything is drag and drop, so I just click and drag to release. Let's review my changes now that I've moved my widgets. We'll go up to the top and click to refresh my page. And you notice that the menu is still on the top and the image is still below. So there's not a lot different going on from before. But you'll notice that the green isn't there on the sides because this block doesn't have the green background color. Let's go ahead and make this header area full width. I'm going to click this block, and you'll notice that the padding is being inherited. That's why it's all gray and none of the slider controls are shown. But if I click the edit button for one of these, like this right padding, I can drag the default 10% padding down to zero. Save my changes, and I can click to review my new changes. And look at that. Now my menu is full width at the top of my design, and the image below is full width as well. There's no padding applied to this left and right sides like the original blocks. Now let's remove this green. I don't want this green anymore. So I'll go ahead and click to disable my override setting, save my changes, review my site, and refreshing shows the background image through the area because now there's no solid background color. Now let's show you how to delete unused items. I dragged the widgets out of this row and I don't need it anymore. Click, 
delete, and it's gone. Cool. Now I'd like to show you how to add a sidebar. I can click to add a column, and I can even adjust the width of my new column using these different spans. Click to add a new widget, and I'm going to add a menu widget as a demonstration. I'm going to choose the base menu I already have at the top of my site, but I'll choose to make it vertical and centered. When I refresh my site, you'll notice that this menu up top now appears along the side next to my content. One more thing I want to show you is child templates. We've been making all of our changes on one of the templates called the base template, but you can use multiple templates in a design to apply different layouts and style to different parts of your site. We cover templates completely in a separate video, so I'll link to that here below, and you can also search our website for lots more info about working with templates.